Hello guys, welcome to Sergei's Chemistry. Today I'm going to show you thermal decomposition of calcium carbonate. For calcium carbonate, I just take a piece of marble. So crystalline metamorphic rock. It's a metamorphized limestone here, pretty white. So it's more or less pure calcium carbonate. On heating, carbonates of the second group, as you probably know, will decompose, forming calcium oxide, metal oxide and carbon dioxide yes. This reaction is essentially reversible, but here when we don't have a closed system, carbon dioxide formed would escape leaving behind calcium oxide. Now, for heating it up, you see I need pretty high temperature for thermal decomposition, above 650 for sure. I believe the temperature in the flame is about 850, because I just can melt kitchen salt in it, and the melting point of kitchen salt is about 801. So, I believe the temperature of the flame is about 850 degrees at least. So I need few minutes to make sure that calcium carbonate decomposed. Again, calcium carbonate solid makes calcium oxide solid as well weight plus carbon dioxide gas. We don't see how carbon dioxide gas escapes here, but we see a slight change in the texture of the marble. It's not shiny anymore, it's becoming white of matte color. Uh, I, th I would say it became crumbly, I'm not going to show it here to you. Now, my aim is just to cool it down. I want to show that reaction with water of calcium oxide is very exothermic. The water would boil, create vapor, hiss, but for that I need first to demonstrate it convincingly, I want to show that the uh, calcium oxide is cooled down to room temperature. Here I'm handling it to show that it's all right cooled down to room temperature. And now I'm adding few drops of water. You see what happens, yeah? It hisses and expands. Yeah? The temperature obviously grows, the water boils as it's added, and chemical reaction is taking place. Calcium oxide reacting with water, making calcium hydroxide, this fluffy white solid. You know that marble is totally not soluble in water, otherwise we would never have marble palaces uh, surviving to our mm -hmm. days. It's not soluble, but calcium hydroxide is soluble, and now I'm demonstrating it, adding phenolphthalein indicator to check alkalinity. Calcium hydroxide should be alkaline. Phenolphthalein indicator is colorless in acidic conditions and pink in alkaline. Here I'm adding it to lime water, because essentially when I dissolve calcium hydroxide in water I get lime water. So here I'm just checking that it's alkaline. Okay, my phenolphthalein turned pink, nicely showing that solution of calcium hydroxide is alkaline. Thank you for watching, subscribe to the channel, see you next time. Bye.